Leke jone kanyaga akademo shokerie gado siya muanya mono, mono, mono. Nito wago shagura ajabeno na kura anyige mono makeria. Na demo shokerie gado to do mainyo mutire gare gaga mwaki. Inyo ya duwa kere nyaga, nito na amuru teire govia na ginyaza isiereo the demo teire govia. Todo mageri ya jira siyo the na dikuwa dago diye na dhuda hariya tu mete. Na mageri ya jira isiyo siyo the mukemera Kenya eno ne anyu. Kenya tia ito gaigere idato. Kenya ne ya Kenya the. Na mugesagu raja beno na kura ike gira ge kafu. Muge kidera, muke ogerera na yete kerera na reu hasera newe presidenti wa Kenya. Ayo megine mwesimu wa raiz. Unajua nimetebea na wewe na mimi Hata sisemi na kupongeza Na, puko, na kupongeza number one kwa sababu Tulizuguka Kenya tukabia wakulima Watapata pesa kwa mfuko Na true to your word Now we have subsidized inputs Mweshimu wa rice pia Umepea naibu wako jukumu Ya kuangalia mabu wabayo ni ya muhimu sana In our region The issues of tea and coffee and other cash crops and I know progressively we are moving towards an era of guaranteed minimum returns for our cash crops. Pia mwesimu wa rais, ECBC ilikuwa imezugusha ma professor, imezugusha au viogozi wengine. You have come and in your first year, we will now have an implementable CBC. Na kupongeza kwa sababu umesema wale watu wako junior secondary, Waede katika primary schools Because we want to make basic education affordable Na nataka pia niseme kwa niyamba ya wazazi Abao wanatusikiza Nimekua nikisikiza wazazi wa kiharu Nimekua nikisikiza wazazi wengi katika Kenya Tuko na ombi na jua unaijua kwa hivyo na kupongeza Hii maneno ya placement ya form, ya form ones Especially those who have done very well in their KCPE Na nakupongeza kwa sababu unaelewa hiyo maneno. Vile tumeacha derocalization ya walimu. Kwa sababu walikuwa wanateseka kwenda bali. Wengine wakieda retire. Even these form ones. Abawa naitua national schools. Tugetaka tuganise Kenya that is fine. Lakini kwa sababu I know your agenda. Is to make basic education affordable. Mutu wa kirinyaga wakipata 400 marks. Kwa sababu hiko masure migi ya national. Asipere kwe bali sana. Kwenye muzazi ya natafuta fair, alavo natafuta school fees. And I've said that because I know you already know about that. Tutaugalisha Kenya wakieda university, so that first of all, waede national schools, na waedele na maisha yao, ya kusoma na kuugalisha Kenya, wakikutana na wengine, wakigia university. Jabo ya tatu, mwesimu wa rise. Among your many agenda, abayo umeanza, Iko moja abayo ni ya umuhimu sana kwa vijana walikalangu. Hii maneno ya housing project. And I know it has become one of your flagship projects. Mwesimu wa rise. Hiyo, even after employing many Kenyans abayo itafanya, and sparring the economy in terms of supply chains within the construction sector. Hii maneno ya housing inafanya kitu igine ya ajabu sana katika uchumi wetu. Na hiyo kitu ya ajabu katika uchumi wetu, you know mwesimu wa rais, nowadays in Kenya, anyone who gets money from a teacher to an MP to a businessman, the first thing that we click into doing is to building rental houses. Na mwesimu wa rais, what the housing project will do, it will now optimize private capital. People will now not only seek to build rental houses. This private capital will now go into other better areas within the economy, like manufacturing. Instead of building a 20 million flat, a person now would rather build a factory employing many Kenyans and adding value. And there is a great correlation to that. Because most new arise, China as a country has grown after first of all, making sure that 90% people own homes. It has over 90% home ownership. Singapore has around 93% home ownership. What comes first is the ownership of houses. So that now people can free up their private capital 
into doing things that are more productive in our economy. And I'm sure within a very short time, we are going to head there. Yamuiso. You know, Mwesimu Arais, mimi ni metabea na wewe. Na mimi na hurumia. Na hurumia sana. Wala watu wanafikiria na weza tisha wewe. Mimi ni metabea na wewe hii Kenya. Na kama hiko maumau, Mwesimu Arais ni wewe. Kwa sababu wewe hautishiki. Hakuna mtu wanaweza kuletea maneno ati yanakutisatisha. Sasa juzi nimeona iko watu wameenda pale South Africa. Mpizani wako wa last year. Na nimemuona katika e, ile pahali tunakupuka Nelson Madera. Nikitaka nimuulize kwa heshima kwa sababu hata kimiaka yeye ni mzee wetu. Kwa hivyo namuheshimu. Akienda pale South Africa ni vizuri akague Nelson Madela Madiba yeye alikuwa kiongozi wa namna gani yeye alikuwa kiongozi wa kutisha watu na wakurusha mawe na wa maadamano now the circus is now becoming even comic because the other day tuliwaona wakisema iko na huiso blower huiso blower ati amekuja na maneno ya uchaguzi ati yeye alikuwa na sava yake na kompyuta yake na form 34A yake. Na akifanya hiyo addition anasema ana whistle blow. Ati vile uchaguzi ilienda. Nataka niwaeleze hawa whistle blowers. Tulikuwa na World Cup. Na World Cup imeisha. Pengine hapo mgepata kazi ya whistle blowing. Kwa hivyo hii maneno mnasema ati mna whistle blow, hiyo maneno tafadhali mpe nafasi wa Kenya waendelee na maisha yao. And there is one specific fellow called Jeffrey Smith. Jeffrey Smith came mutu hapo hapo tunimu America. Na tunaisimu wa America kwa sababu tunafanya biyashara nao na ni marafiki wetu. But this specific one founded a company called Vagward Africa. This guy, last year during the elections, he was one of the contractors of Azimio. And they sent a contract upwards of $15,000. He was paid some money, igine hajalipua. He of Vagward Africa, John Githongo, amekua the advisor ya hiyo katika Africa. Yure John Githongo alienda katika mahakama, anapereka maneno hapo, ati yako na ushahidi, majajo wakawamuabia atoroke. So, sisi, tunataka tuwabia tinga, na hiyo grupu yote, abaye walikuwa wapinzani wetu last year. Wa Kenya, ata kama tumesoma na basari, Tumerevuka. You cannot purport to whistleblow. And the person whistleblowing is your employee. This is a person you actually owe money. Please, hiyo madenienu muna itishana yenye hukuripa huyo Jeffrey Smith. Muripane pole pole. Muache kutisha wa Kenya. Na pia netaka niwaeleze ya kwamba. Wewe uite maadamano wata kesho. Lakini kama maadamano ni kitu ya manufaa. Na kabisa unaweza kuza uchumi wa Kenya na maadamano Kesho Tukuone na jamii yako kwanza mustari wa bele Mukipereka hiyo maadamano bele But I want to warn you That Kenya There is no more person to intimidate You cannot intimidate our president William Samoe Ruto Hoyo ni jaba You cannot coerce anyone And you cannot extract any personal benefit Kwa kutishia wa Kenya utaadamana Uadamane, ufanye nini Lakini mimi kama dede nyono na kuwabia nikiwa hapa kere nyaga Kwa hiyo maadamano yako Usiguze biyashara ya mkenya hata mmoja Na kwa hiyo maadamano Mimi nitakuwabia ruhusa hata kwa raisi wetu Ikiweze kana Hata serikali ipereke watu maji pale Na hata soda Wakiadamana, wanakunywa kidogo, wanarudi maadamano Lakini wacha kutishia wa Kenya my friend. Sisi, sasa sisi, mulikuwa na deep state na system. Na hiyo bado haikuweza hii maumau. Sasa maadamano, my friend, wacha ni nyamazia hapo. Sasa, nikikaa chini, nigetaka ni ite moja wetu asimamia hawe gine wote. Mweshimiwa David Ocheng, wapale ugenya.
pia ya seme jambo alafu mheshimiwa Gashoki you come back here we are na program karibu sana mheshimiwa thank you so much ndugundindi to the holy church the clergy to our president his excellency william samoy ruto to our deputy president rigiji to the governor for kirinyaga all governors all senators mps all protocols observed good afternoon god is good and all the time uh, i'm so happy to be here this afternoon and so blessed by the word i'm so sure that all of us are blessed this afternoon by a very ably delivered word what of kirinyaga muko muko mimi na heshima sana kwa kirinyaga jambo nasema mlipiga kura amujui kile kula yenyewe ilifanya kwa inchi iliweka hii rais ndio lakini hiyo sio ile mlifanya kula yenyu kura yenyu imeleta kitu moja kubwa sana kwa inchi imetoa udanganyifu kwa siasa kwa sisi nataka usikie sisi kule nyanza tuliambiwa kwamba 3 weeks elections mtakimbia huyu mtaacha yeye mpigie ule mwingine walisema 3 weeks elections hivi kikui wote watawaja yule mbuto waende hiyo side nyingine mulienda mulienda mulibaki pale you've shown us the goodness in friendship you've shown us the goodness in uaminifu na kuaminiana kwa siasa wanajua mnatongea vitu mingi sana katika inchi barabara mzuri hospitali mzuri but one most important thing that will help this country grow is trust among ourselves as kenyans na katika kenya sasa hizi rais wanasema wamefanya vitu mingi sana lakini pundits are saying that in the last six months the best that he has achieved as a president is to unite the country more than anybody else in our history mulimuona last week nyanza nyanza alikuwa last week didn't you see how he was received he didn't pass through anybody else akupitia mimi akupitia somebody else alienda yeye direct kwa wananchi and he is loved there and so i want to tell central kenya that you may think that you only voted for william ruto as president no you've shown the country that standing together united not lying to each other can help this country grow may god bless you so much for standing with him Number two, that's very important, is that for us to grow this country, grow the economy, have a good country with us, we must learn to hold each other's hands. Kama nenda kuanguka, unanashika mkono huku. Kama nenda kuanguka, unanashika mkono huku. Mwemshika mungwana hui wili amruto mkono, when he was at his lowest, we saw love from Senegal Kenya to him. Tukambiwa kwamba, kikuyu na kale nyinyi watachana but you've shown that is possible as a country